Good morning. It's good to see your smiling faces again. I am in the beautiful town of Sausalito. It's uh, 7 a.m. right now, and uh, it's, it's beautiful right now. I'm learning how to use my film camera. Bought some film yesterday, three different rolls, but today we're gonna go with the Ultra. I think I'm saying that right, ISO 100, and uh, we're just gonna walk around and, and shoot some film, learn. Uh, I'm gonna take some notes and see what lighting does what. Once it gets developed, that way I know whatever photos come out, I'll have what brackets I had them in. So I already see this beautiful, you see that Volkswagen bus right there? And the lights just hitting it just right. We gotta load up some film and, and get moving because time's gonna go by quick and we can miss some pristine lighting and good shots if we don't if we don't hurry. Let's get this film camera out. Load up some film. Oh. So Ectra, not Ultra, Ectra. So let's open this. I know people save that little tab, but I don't. So from what I understand, pop that, open that. This little doohickey thing Something like that, right? Just pull this over. There's these little slots that it goes in. Hope everyone's seeing and following. I was having some malfunctions. So yeah, little slots, tape rolls in. You feed this little doohickey tab here into there and then you want to take some pictures snap All right when you get about there it's nice and tight close that pop that and then you want to get this little number here I know you guys can't see that but there's some little numbers there you want to get that to one so keep taking photo and that's one so I've tried to make this video several times and I've filled miserably every single time so I've been I've been practicing and I think I think today we got it before I forget Make sure, this is where I failed, I'm going to set it to 125, whatever your film is set to, so mine's 100, make sure your ISO is set to 100, because you can't reset that, so mine's 100, that stays um yeah i made a mistake in not setting that and then i also made the mistake of not checking my f stops so all my other photos were super dark so it's an expensive way to make mistakes because film is not cheap and developing is not cheap okay now let's go okay i look like a total tourist I gotta pay for parking and then we can go. I've got my keys. Wallet's in my bag. Pretty sure I have my keys. Mm. That's what AAA is for. That's my number. Cap. So ISO 100, I'm going to shoot at 125, I'm going to put it to 14 because it is a little bright, but I'm going to take two photos, so this is what I've been doing, I'll take one at f4 and one maybe at 2.8, so that way 
if one shot is bad, maybe the other one will be good. I mean, look at that lighting. It's beautiful. And I got permission, so. I'm telling you, if you haven't been to South Salido, it's a place to visit. Beautiful, just beautiful. San Francisco's over there. Nobody's out right now. It's almost like I have this whole place to myself. That's a good shot right there too. I did bring an ND for it. I don't know. I don't know if that's a good idea or not. We're gonna go 125 still. We're gonna go 2.8, but we're gonna use the ND. So here's my other shot. See if I can get that to focus there. I know it doesn't look like much, but the way I'm seeing it, definitely looks like something. Okay, here's shot number, I don't know. It's a shot. I don't know why, but I feel like I'm playing it safe with keeping it at 125. That might be a sweet spot for shutter speed, especially when I'm changing f-stop. So again, 2.8, f4, no ND this time. You saw me take it off, but I mean, it's a beautiful shot. I'm telling you, I, lo I love South Salido. I love walking down here. I feel like when you're shooting film, I've noticed the handful of times that I, uh, ooh, another shot has it. Another shot has, it's being made right now. I know it's just a pigeon, but do you guys see how close he is to me? Okay, so back to what I was saying. It almost feels like with film, you really are pay att paying attention to the shot you're going to take. You're looking at the f-stop, you're paying attention to whatever's in front of you. You are, you're even looking a lot harder than you would with digital and the main reason is with film you don't you don't get a second chance if you're taking two shots like I am now 
then may, you know you might get lucky but if you're just shooting going shooting and going like like take think about national geographic when they were doing all their stuff back then it was all film they couldn't see what they were what they were going to what they basically took there was a moment and they would capture it and you just you pray that you got it and with now i mean you take a photo with digital you look at it if you don't like it you can just delete it and do it again and do it again until you get it you know if if it's something stationary if it's an animal you still have that you know you only have a few seconds but you can really look at what you're doing you can change your brightness tone it down I mean shoot we can even change the color of our photos on the camera already and with film it I've noticed I've appreciated a shot more and I I'm very thankful for whoever decided to invent this To, I'm sure I'm not the only one that feels like this, but shooting and filming, it's like, it's a privilege and I'm honored to be, to call myself a photographer. But enough with that mushy stuff. Let's go shoot some more photos. So I am going to stop. This is one of my favorite pastry places. It's called Angelino's. And they have amazing pastries in there. Delicious. So I just got a few. Mainly because I haven't had breakfast. And I got some for my wife and kids. Mine's a, a savory. It's pesto and tomato. Look at that. Mm. Nothing better. I wish you guys could taste this. Mmm. Here's to the last bite. Mm. I'm just savoring it. Mm. I'm kind of sad that's over. I guess it's time to move on. So this is another one of my favorite spots to come out at night. This specific area, these lights, these houses at night are all lit up. And if you get the tide right from the water, when it's nice and still, you get this beautiful reflective light at night. And I mean, you can see the bridge and planes are passing by. Um, if you go on my Instagram account and you look at some of the the IG reels, uh, there's a time lapse of this specific spot, and then I've posted photos of this at night, and I've I've taken this photo hundreds of times, and I've only liked three of those hundreds, so it's it's a beautiful spot. I'm on the water now, or on the sand by the water. Look at this shot right here. Let's see, a little mid on that. That's that's gonna be a good shot right there. Set the camera down. Well, let's see if I can uh, see if I can do this one-handed again. Okay, film's rolled up. 5.6 because we're shooting in the water and it's bright. 
crouching stance. <laughs> I was looking at the back of the camera. That's funny. Oh, there's another shot. Look at that. Let's see if I can zoom in on there again. You see those posts? Oh, come on, camera. Work with me. But there's a bird right there. It's a beautiful day. I'm gonna go F4 on this one. Out there? No. No. Just filming a video. <laughs> so we can take a picture? Yeah, sure. Oh, I know. <laughs> it's gonna duck now. It's alright. It's alright. <laughs> yeah, it is the camera. Scared of that camera. It's alright. Oh, oh, oh. Hey. Tommy, sit. Hey, sit. Sit. Perfect. I appreciate that, man. Yeah, sorry Thank you, Tommy. You Tommy. Pain. No, 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 no worries. He's just... Um, calm down. It's okay. He's being the dog. That's it's all. okay, Tommy. It's okay. It's good hey. to meet you. Have a good yeah, rest you of your too. day. Take care, man. You too. Thank you. It's a 50 millimeter, yeah. It's the Canon AE1. Nothing shoots like the lenses, right? So, everybody's been shooting on film again. Yeah, I learned on an Icon 32FS. Oh, really? I still have it. Oh, wow. Okay, so he has Hasselblads and all the people. He's with these guys in Europe. Man, the Hasselblads, they're... Nice to meet you. No worries. So his name is Carlos. That's okay. I know. I'm sorry. I'm distracting you. Torre Blanca, verdad? Like Torre and Blanca? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, Torre. Okay. So, I can't believe this just happened. But that conversation I just had literally turned into an hour long having beer with a complete stranger who's no longer a stranger. I'm talking about photography, hunting, just, I made a new friend basically just now. They broke into his home sadly this morning and for something like that to happen and for that guy to be in the mood that he was in and welcome me in welcome me in his home was absolutely amazing carlitos i know you're watching this because you subscribed thank you you're a beautiful person your wife is too and uh, i know we'll be hanging out soon and i know we're gonna make a youtube video together I think I have to end this video here. I wanted to shoot some more, but I need to go home. My kids are waiting for me. And yeah, what an amazing day. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. 
I know I didn't get to shoot a whole lot, but you you saw what I was doing. I hope it inspires you to shoot some film too if you have a, a film camera. If not, head to the flea markets, go to thrift shops. That's where you'll find the, the cameras and uh, have fun. Uh, that's one thing that I'm starting to learn is just have fun with it. Because as, as soon as it's not fun, you'll kind of get into this dark space. So anyways, like and subscribe. Come back. Hit that ring button. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.